Let's find the density for acetone. This is also called 2-propanone. So if you look it up, the density for acetone, 0 0.7845 grams per centimeter cubed. In this unit, centimeter cubed, sometimes you'll see that written as milliliter. They're the same thing. What you need to realize, though, is that density depends on temperature. So this density for acetone here is at 25 degrees Celsius. So for example, if it were warmer, the acetone would expand and the density would go down. So you always have to think about temperature and report the temperature when you're finding density. So here's probably the way you would do this in a lab if you were a student. So you get some acetone, you get a graduated cylinder, and you get an electronic balance. So put the cylinder on the balance, and then we can press this zero here. We can tear the balance. So we'll set the actual number to 0, 0.00 kind of cancels out the weight of the graduated cylinder. So we'll put some acetone in. Let's fill it up to 100 right here. So this is our acetone now in our graduated cylinder. Since density equals mass over volume, we know the volume, that's 100.0. And we we'll use milliliters as our unit here. The mass we would get from the balance. So let's say our balance gave us a mass of 78.45 grams. So now we just divide and we would end up with 0 0.7845 and our units would be grams per milliliter. You could also call that grams per centimeter cube. That would be okay as well. So that's how you find the density for acetone. If you were given the density and the mass, you could then just solve for volume. If you were given density and volume, you could then just solve for mass using this equation. This is Dr. B looking at the density of acetone and how you can determine the density of acetone. Thanks for watching.